So my deadlift stance is considered narrower than most, but what does a narrow stance deadlift even look like, right? I mean, who determines what's wide and what's narrow? What is a normal deadlift stance anyways? And where am I? What is this thing we call life? What am I except for bones, moving through space, defining and scrapping? <laughs> Whoa. My deadlift stance is superior to all other deadlift stances, and the reason that I can deadlift over half of the world record is because I've spent years finding the perfect deadlift stance. In this video, I'll share with you my secrets. Alright, I'm done. The first reason I prefer deadlifting with a kind of narrow stance is because I've been using this stance for several years now, and I'm used to it. And with that said, I do commonly suggest people bring their stance in when I work with them, and I'll explain why. First, let's start with the grip on the bar. I teach vertical forearms from the front, about shoulder width apart. Significantly wider than shoulder width compromises your grip. Think about snatch grip deadlifting your max deadlift. A wide grip deadlift also artificially shortens your arms, forcing you to bend over farther when grabbing the bar, and it causes you to pull the bar higher off the ground. This is why long arms are mechanically advantageous when deadlifting. Less commonly seen is a grip width narrower than shoulder width. This can make balancing the bar difficult, and you might struggle to finish with a proud chest during a heavy lockout. But at the same time, a very narrow grip allows you to take advantage of the bend in a deadlift bar that has a lot of weight on it. Anyways, I teach a shoulder width grip on the bar, and this demands a stance width that is narrower than shoulder width, because my feet and my fat legs need to be between my hands. So my stance width ends up being just a hair inside a hip width with my toes pointing out. Why toes out? I made a video about this recently. You can check it out by clicking the I card at the top right hand corner. Personally, I feel like I can generate a little more leg drive with this narrower stance, so I'll continue using it. But ultimately, it's my grip width that determines my stance width. Thanks for watching this quick video, and always remember... Tread on time!